CBS4 Weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Happy Monday. Hopefully you enjoyed the long holiday weekend. Although we did have some strong to severe storms, thankfully this morning we are nice and quiet as we look from our broad camera in Fort Lauderdale and our Key West camera. But later on we will see some rain rolling in. So there's the view courtesy of Sandra K. Booth from Lauderdale by the sea. And as you can see on the radar, we are nice and quiet for now. Temperatures are in the upper 70s and low 80s right now. 80 degrees in Miami, 85 in Maryland. Marathon, the winds are calm or light, and as we head into the afternoon, highs will be in the low 90s, and we will see the potential for those storms that could produce some heavy rain, lightning, gusty winds. Future radar taking us through hour by hour. Most of the morning looking good, quiet. Notice how those storms develop on the west coast over the Everglades and then spread eastward as we head into around lunchtime into the afternoon. Let's say around 2, 3 p.m. There could be some spotty storms, but it looks like more of the action will be around the evening hours, which is what took place yesterday. And even for part of your 4th of July, right in Broward County, we had severe storms. For boaters, no advisories. Winds out of the southeast, 5 to 10 knots. seas to a light chop on the bays. And tonight, again, as I mentioned, scattered storms in the evening. And then overnight, it should be quiet with the low 80s. We're tracking Tropical Storm Edward. This is not something to worry about for us. It is located 530 miles uh, south of Cape Race. Newfoundland racing to the northeast at 36 miles an hour and as it moves into the cold waters of the northern Atlantic it should become non-tropical as of later today or into tomorrow. Also in the tropics tracking a few areas there's this low pressure system near the Florida Panhandle which has a medium potential of development as it moves northeastward regardless of development it will bring some heavy rain and flooding possible to parts of the southeast and then likely be near the Carolinas and also a tropical wave 450 miles east of the wind Word Islands has a low chance, only a 10% chance of development here as we head throughout the next two to five days. In terms of our local weather pattern, we are going to see very similar conditions here as we head into the next few days. Waking up to steamy sun, afternoon storms, highs in the low 90s. It's going to feel like the hundreds due to that high humidity. Now, as we head into later this week, we may see more of a southeasterly flow as high pressure takes over. So that could mean some passing showers and afternoon storms. But regardless, we're certainly looking unsettled and you're going to want to keep your rain gear close.